okay welcome back guys so we're on the last part of the air creation process uh i think one thing i would like to do for the for the eyelashes i don't know maybe i should okay more or less of the same length okay uh, i'm just going to leave that <laughs> i was thinking of increasing the thickness of this eyelashes but i think it should be just fine okay so the last part of this is to create some beard shape for it some beard some beard and mustache hairs for our character so let's go to this fold again let me hide this hide this also I'll hide this, I'll reveal this. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much all we need. Okay. Um, so I got in some more references for this. I have some more reference. Um, so I'm going for something rough like like so. Something rough like this. But something more of this nature. Something more of this nature. So I have a few ideas in mind. So one, you can go in there and then create your guides and then shape your guides to be some somewhat similar to this or alternatively you can use the coil modifier just create a normal regular guide and use the coil modifier to kind of twist and bend them bend them the way they are like this right now so i think i will go for the later approach which is the which would be just creating straight guides and then using the coin modifier and then after that you can now go in and then begin to make more modifications to the air guides so let's get let's get to it so I'll select this and I would um, I'll go to description create description uh, okay create a new collection first so I'm going to rename this to beard underscore beard underscore underscore mustache underscore c o l l. Then this first one will be for the beard. Beard underscore uh, DS DSC. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Then splines, random across surface, placing and shipping guides. Okay, it should be fine. I click on create. Come to this collection that is eye scalp i would i think this is a let me hide this for now i don't want to see that then beard and mustache so let's just go one two and just type in the values in here 0 0.01 should be zero point seven one, I believe. Then zero point seven six. I believe that should be it. Yeah, we are good put this to 50 for now 
okay okay uh but i'm not going for something very long though something something like this should be fine so <clears throat> Let's create some guide for this. Think I would. <clears throat> so, like I would usually do this to kind of create a block out. Let's create a block out for it. Let's see. Uh, so my block out would be and push this down some more a block out should be from around here so one and let's go I think side view uh oh, great my side views are the other side. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we can flip that. We can definitely flip that. So, on that panels, we should be on orthographic to side X. So, right side. Okay, probably not. Left side. Ah, uh, okay, yes, left side. So I can see it now. So back to the adding guides. Okay. I think one year. And I believe <clears throat> one year should work. Okay. Uh, then we can one year just still in the same spots, more or less around the same spots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now I think we can use the front view now to <clears throat> continue this on. Uh, select this again. Okay, yeah, yeah, believe around here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, also. Okay, so now we have done the block out like the mapping for this. Uh, I think under here. Yeah. All right, so so we don't want it to be of everything shouldn't be the same lens, obviously. So let's just keep working on them in as as individual piece and see what we can make out of this. <clears throat> Let me just do one here, then drag this to all the way to the end. Then let's begin to shape these guys. Uh, so I'm just pushing it down, down like so. Uh, 
¿sí? Put this down. Should probably select all of this. This inclusive. Right, I think I have. There's one reference I have that will kind of give me a good idea, at least for the side, just to get an idea how it should be. Okay. This is done. Yeah, I think yes, we have. I think we have. Where is <coughs> okay? We have some directionality to this in here that should help us. Okay, this one should be facing downwards. Okay, get this down. Yeah, this one should be more or less almost standing on its own like this, probably tilted backward a bit more. Okay. I need to push this one closer to should be closer to the skin some more okay so i know certainly that all of this here should be longer get this longer like so maybe even tilt it outward a bit more like this then I would extend extend this out some more a bit more. This one should be slightly shorter, slightly maybe just a tiny bit. Okay. This is a good block out. If there's any need to increase the length, I need to go back in there and then do that. But for now, I think this should be fine. Maybe a bit more. Do a quick save. Alright, so let's see. Checking this out just to see. Think select this to bring them somewhat closer to the skin. Okay, so now let's begin to create some more in betweens. I don't know will it imitate the length also, I'm not too sure. 
Oh, great, it's imitating the lens too. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Yeah, I think this is this is this is a good enough block out. All right. Uh, okay. Where is okay? This is <clears throat> okay. Uh, this one is tilting <clears throat> to the side way too much, so. We would need to bring this <clears throat> more like so. Bring this one like so. <clears throat> All right, so it should be fine. So we should. Create some airs or generate some airs around this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have I made a mistake? Why are is not being generated out of this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think I must have made a mistake somewhere. And my best, my best guess was that I did not select. I did not select this mesh before creating my collection and description for oh, men. If that was the case, then I messed up pretty bad. Uh... This sucks. Sucks. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's fix it. Let's fix it. So, select all these guides. I'll come to you. I believe utilities. I will select guides to. Uh, where is it? Uh, curves, guides to curves, create curves. Okay, so now I've, I've converted this my guides into curves. So, um, I'm just going to take a drastic step of selecting this. Hit delete. Fantastic. Oh crap. Uh, I'm locked out. Seem to be locked out in here. completely locked out okay it's deleted but it's just she's still showing here I don't know why so um let me see if I can see if I can select them select one of these Uh, 
let me pull up this for now let me bring it out again let's see Oh crap, I need to I need to close this file. I need to close this file and open it up again. I messed up, but we'll fix we we'll, would we'll fix it. We'll fix this. Let me just close this file. Come on now. Exit. It's not even closing me. It's gotten stop. I need to use tax manager to close this. Okay, so close this. Let's click OK on this. Pull out this. So let's go and set project again. Set. Okay, so now we need to be very careful in here because since can just easily go a wire in here. So I will select this again, which I believe I did not select before. Select this read description. So now we're going to create new collection in here. We'll type new because I'm not sure if X actually deleted. The collection properly from the project files which if you don't rename things properly you can just create a huge mess so new beard underscore mustache underscore collection cll okay then here type in new underscore beard underscore hair underscore description dsc okay please listen, listen shipping guys flying random like post office okay that should be fine click on create I believe we are good now. So we're going to do in here is to quickly let me drag this off well first. So quickly click on this add point, just create one two, then generate. Let's see. Fantastic. So now we have a generated in there now. That is good. That's good for now. Uh, Afro uh, like this. Hide like this for now. Go back to the new beard collection. Let's come in here and just type in the values again. Zero one. Zero. Zero point seven one. Zero point seven six. Right, so now this is working out working correctly. Now, one way to kind of fix this issue we are having around here. Let me increase this a bit more. One way to kind of reuse this our uh, X Gen curves. One way to reuse that is to let me select this. I'll select these two guides, I'll delete them. If you want, you finish any, you shouldn't see anything generating in there. So I'll select this seats curves. I'll select all these curves. <clears throat> but that's still Select all of this, deselect the main body, deselect the main scalp. Then we'll go to make sure you're still on the same collection on this beard collection. 
and on this same beard description then we we'll go to util utilities drag this down what we want to do is to convert these curves to guide so curves to guide so click on this yes we want to delete the curves also we don't keep them so default will be fine click on this all right so that should automatically and since we did not move this geometry anywhere that should kind of stick to the skin and that will convert all the all the curves into guide then if we go back to primitive come in here turn this off also now you can see it is being generated out of this okay which is precisely what we want you can see it is all over the place <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> okay Okay, but I feel like they are way too close to the skin. So let me turn that off. I would select this mass of air all around here and get them out a bit. Generate some airs out of this. Into this to take this down. Let's get few eyes in there so we can actually see. How much of that is pulling out? Probably a bit more. Okay. If needs be that we need to push them back, we would, but for now I think this should be fine. Select all of this. We can mirror this to the other side. Run this again. Okay, I see now that I need to extend most of this out a bit more. Deselect this. Extend this out some more. Select this around the uh, Move this down. Select this, shrink this back down. We won't do that. Oh crap, mistake. <clears throat> Reduce that like so. Let's run this again. Okay, I'll do a quick save. All right, so we're in a good place now. So what we just need to do now is to draw out. <clears throat> so draw out a max for this, which we will do in the next lesson. But yeah, before we move to the next lesson, I think I would like to add some more guides around this neck region. Yeah, something around here. Okay. Yes, shorter is like this should be fine. <clears throat> Select this. Push this down. Okay. Maybe we we'll create one here. Yeah. All right, this should be fine. So if we should select all of this on the lower parts, we select, we select all of this. I just mirror this to the other side. Run this again. Okay. So now we need some mess in the mid center points of this. Let me create one here. And yeah, 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 also. This one seems to be pushing downwards way too much. Let's get this out. 
run this again okay we need one year that pushing in was way too much let's get this out scale this down generate again and yeah, now we have something in there all right so this is a good block out for the most part this is a good block out so i'll see you guys in the next lesson if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it encourages me to kind of drop more content like this so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now